I recall when I asked Joe Negron to lead us on Medicaid, and he gave me a look. <laughs> Why me? But I think we all saw Joe Negron, Senator Negron, rise to that challenge, working together with our friends across the aisle to solve a long-term budget problem. And we have put ourselves in a position where we are once again empowering patients and doctors and the state rights once again as we move towards solutions as opposed to playing politics. And in our K-12 system, I asked Steve Wise, after the governor's veto the previous year, to go around the state and listen to teachers, listen to administrators, listen to parents and students alike, and formulate a policy that we can be proud of in our K-12 system and reward the best teachers in our state, and I'm happy to report we passed that too. And with pill mills, for too long, it had kind of been stuck in the mud. But fortunately, we had the incredible new warrior to Tallahassee, and that was our Attorney General. And she and I believe strongly in the PDMP. This prescription drug monitoring program is important and will turn around people's lives. And once again, solutions and results followed. And the key is, you didn't talk, you acted. And that's what's so exciting about serving in the Florida legislature in these tumultuous times. Because when times are tough, people rise to the occasion. And you surely did. And what I'm most proud about is that you did it in an open forum, unafraid of the slings and arrows that might come when you took on these heavy burdens. And I'm grateful for that leadership. But with that said, I also want to signal out our leaders, Leader Gardner and Leader Rich. Those issues we faced last year together were not easy, but they handled themselves with class and distinction and always made the Senate proud. And for that, leaders, I applaud your efforts. Well done.